Today on Ticket Home, we're going to find a few Amazon devices and pair them together in a home theater group. This will definitely keep the kids busy for at least a few minutes. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So yesterday I was watching a video from Brian at Automate Your Life, and he showed 46 different ways in which you can keep your kids busy while they are at home. Well, one of those ideas was to set up a pair with your Fire TV and your Amazon speaker to create a home theater system. So we love going to the movies and staying at home just definitely gets you down a bit. So I thought that would be a really fun idea for the kids. So as what I did is I took my projector, plugged in the Fire TV, and then I was able to set up my Echo device. So then we could play movies on the projector and you could hear it through the sound of the Echo and it worked really well. And we even could attach another speaker. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get everything set up and what is required to do this. So first up, you need an Echo device. So here I have the Echo Dot third generation. You could also use an Echo second generation, Echo third generation, or the Echo Plus second generation, Echo Plus first generation, or the Echo Dot with clock, or the Echo Studio, and also you can use the Echo Sub that is compatible. Now for the TV, you do need to have a Fire TV Stick 4K, which I have right here. You could also use a Fire TV third generation, or a Fire TV Cube, the first and second generation. And that is actually what we'll be using today as I have a Fire TV Cube plugged into the TV. Now the third thing you need is a screen. So in this video, we're going to be using the flat screen TV that I have back here. But yesterday I used my projector that had an HDMI input. So as long as you can plug in your Fire TV or Fire TV Cube, you will be able to use that device. Now the fourth item is definitely optional, but highly recommended would be to find an old speaker that you have in your home. Now this is an old Samsung speaker and it has an auxiliary input. If you have Bluetooth only, that should work, but I highly recommend something with auxiliary because you can actually plug this directly in to your Echo Dot or your Echo device and have the sound come out of here instead of through the Echo. So let's get to the setup. Before this, I have already connected my Fire TV Cube and my Echo Dot third generation to my Wi-Fi and set them up on my Amazon account. Next, we're gonna head into the Amazon application, and now we're going to pair those devices together. This isn't required, but I definitely recommend doing this step first. So we're gonna select the menu, and then we're gonna to go to the settings. And then we're gonna scroll down until we see TV and video. And then here, we're gonna wait till it loads, and right here, you see Fire TV. We're gonna select that, and we're going to link your device. So here, I'm going to link my Echo Dot third generation to my Fire TV Cube. This allows you to easily control content on your TV from your Echo device. So here I'm going to select continue, and now I'm going to choose what device I want it to connect to. So right here I have the Echo Dot 3, so I'm gonna choose that and select link device. Now that I have done that, we're going to head into the devices tab to set up our home theater. Now, when I originally did this, I actually went in and set a preferred speaker under one of my groups, and that is not what you wanna do. I actually had to ask Brian of how to do this so he helped find the right menu. So I already have all these devices set up in the office, so if I go in here, you can see that I have a lot of different devices already set up. But I'm actually gonna to go to this menu and select the plus up here, and then I'm going to choose set up audio system. Now here you have a few options. So you could set up a stereo pair. So if you have two Echo Dot third generations, you could actually pair those together and then connect them to the TV. But I only have one, so I'm going to choose home theater. And now it is asking what Fire TV you want to connect to the speaker. So here we want to connect the Fire TV Cube. And there you can see that it is checked. We're gonna select next. And now it says you can connect Fire TV Cube to up to two speakers or an external speaker pair plus a subwoofer. All speakers must be online, on the same network, and in the same room. So like I mentioned before, these are on the same network. Now you need to have them in the same room. So here in the office, everything is set up. And you can see the list of all my devices that aren't compatible. And here you can see the Echo would have worked, but that is actually at my home. So we can't set that up here today, but we're gonna set this up with Brett's dot three. So I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna select next. 
And then we're gonna give this a name. So we're just gonna select home theater and next. And then we're gonna choose where we want this to be in. So I'm gonna choose that we want this in the office and save. And now it has gone through and paired those devices. So we can see that home theater pair if we scroll all the way down to the bottom and here we have the home theater. If you are trying to pair one device to another and it's already in a home theater, you would need to come in here and unpair it before you can connect them into a new group. So here you can see I have the Fire TV Cube and the Brett's Echo Dot 3 paired together. Now let's show you how this works on the TV. So here you can see on the TV, it even gave a notice that our devices are paired. Your Fire TV and Echo devices are now configured for use with your home theater. Get ready for an even better TV watching experience with Dolby Atmos and Dolby Digital Plus. Check out the preview to see and hear your home theater in action. All right, I'm gonna play this preview, but like I mentioned before, you can actually enhance the sound from your Echo device by using another speaker. So let's set that up real quick before we do this. So here, all I need is a compatible speaker, so something with auxiliary or Bluetooth, and then you're just gonna plug this into the back of your Echo device. Once you have the speaker plugged in, head to the group where you have the speaker. So here in the office, here I have the Brett's Echo Dot 3. I'm gonna open that up. And then down here I have speaker. So I'm gonna select change. And instead of this speaker, you can choose if you want it to be an auxiliary or Bluetooth. So I'm gonna choose auxiliary cable, and then I'm going to select save. And now it will be coming through the speaker that I have set up right here and all the controls are on here, you may need to make sure that it is set to auxiliary. So let's go ahead and play the preview. So that sounded pretty good. Definitely a better speaker than just the Dot 3. So now here on my Fire TV remote, it says that the volume is going to control my speaker now. Now that we have this all paired up, anything that we play through the Fire TV is going to play out of this speaker. So that means not only do you need to use Amazon applications, but you could go to YouTube or any other app that you have and play videos on there. It's going to play out of here. So let's test this out in YouTube. Sounds coming out of here, sounds just great. And then if I change the volume, it's already up full volume. There you can see it's adjusting the volume on the Dot 3 as well as the Fire TV. CES is known for showing off some crazy awesome products that will be coming out. Well, during the show, I search. Now at the beginning, we actually set up the Dot 3 and the Fire TV Cube so we could control the Fire TV all by voice. So now let's do one command that the kids would really enjoy. Play The Secret Life of Pets 2 on Netflix. Getting The Secret Life of Pets 2 from Netflix. And there you go. The movie started pretty much hands-free and all the audio is coming out of here. Now with that, there of course is an unlimited amount of content from Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, YouTube, so many options now that you have on the Fire TV. So you definitely could keep the kids entertained for a few hours. So if you have any further questions about the setup, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see Brian's video about those 46 ways in which you can keep your kids busy while they are at home, make sure you check out the video over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.